Hey Dayspring, we are super passionate about helping you have the best experience of a huddle that you can. And so over the next few videos, we wanna give you some tools and resources to make your huddle experience one that both encourages and strengthens your walk with Jesus and one another. There are many things we can do to upskill, to create an environment in our huddles where everyone looks forward to meeting in each week. In this video, I wanna take some time to consider the important skill of learning to listen well, because I think we can often underestimate the immense value we bring to someone when we genuinely listen to them. And so that's our goal for all our huddles across Dayspring, to help you form and run a huddle where people will feel safe, seen and heard. Because only as we do that, will others invite us to speak into their lives on their discipleship journey. At its core, that's what discipleship is. It's the long-term journey, life on life, iron sharpening iron, honest conversations with grace-filled feedback. Yet I don't know about you, but I can often recall feeling uh, when I've been chatting with someone, sharing something pretty big that's been going on for me, and instead of having that person just hear me out, they try to solve the issue for me. Maybe they try to give me feedback and advice rather than just providing a listening and understanding ear. But the truth is we might have been that person too. Uh, we do it because we actually have a desire to help someone get through their situation or struggle and come out the other side. Uh, yet so often when someone is first sharing something of their journey with us, this is the last thing they need uh, or more likely want. Uh, well, luckily, Scripture encourages us in James 1.19 to be quick to listen and slow to speak. The good news for us is that listening is a skill that can be learnt and is something we are able to continually improve upon. So as we look to become better listeners... I want to share two heart postures which encourage you to come to your huddle with. So firstly, listen empathetically with the intent to learn rather than give advice. So often people just want to know that they have been seen and heard. They aren't looking for answers, but for a friend to hear them out. To just quietly listen and engage with their story and what is going on for them in that moment. So when we're in our huddles, let's adopt an attitude of, I am present here to listen and learn about this person and what is affecting them right now. Empathy looks like learning to feel along with the other person and what they're feeling and expressing. It can at times be easy to dismiss how someone is feeling, especially when we disagree. But even then, as someone is sharing something that is very real, let's try to engage and listen from their perspective to show that we're engaged and genuinely care about them and whatever they're sharing about. Secondly, let's listen without judgment. In our huddles, when people feel safe, it will look like them being totally free to bring all of themselves to the table, free to share their joys, but also the harder parts of their life. They're only gonna to share to the degree that they feel safe to do so. One way this is gonna happen uh, is if they know they can share without receiving judgment from others. None of us are perfect and we've all made choices at times that have had negative consequences on either ourselves uh, or those around us. So in those moments when people share information that for them is often quite raw and sensitive, let's be people who withhold our judgments. Let's not be critical or condemning, but rather accept people's story for what it is and accept them for wherever they are on their discipleship journey. Change and transformation comes with time, but our primary job at first is to be a safe group of people with whom they can trust and confide in. Well, to finish off, I want to share a couple of quick fire tips and ideas to help you be a better listener in your huddle. Firstly, when you start your huddle, maybe it could be helpful to make an agreement as a group that this is going to be a safe place to share and to be vulnerable. Commit to ensuring everyone in the group feels safe, uh, feels seen and heard whenever they share something. Secondly, on a practical level, uh, give the person who's sharing your undivided attention. Show them you value and care for them by the way that you focus on them in that moment. And see, as you do, also try your best to make sure your manner matches what is being shared. For example, you know, if someone's sharing something that's really personal or making them sad or angry, laughing probably isn't the best option at that point. We want to make our mood match the mood of the room. Thirdly, let people finish verbalizing their thoughts. We know how frustrating it can be at times when, you know, someone interrupts us while we're speaking. So let people finish before jumping in. But if you are going to say something, maybe consider asking some more open-ended questions uh, with the intent to discover and learn rather than giving an answer right away. See, part of the process of understanding might also look like restating back to them what they have said to show you're trying your best to engage and understand how they think or feel about whatever it is they're talking about. And finally, uh, let's keep an open mind. See, everyone is on a different stage of their journey. There is no clone of you. There is no clone of me. What areas of growth may be quick for you 
might be a long-term process for someone else with many ups and downs along the way. But in the midst of all that, we need each other, which is why we huddle. So as we begin our huddles, let's be present, let's be attentive, let's be available for each other as we begin doing life together.